let's see here. We're going to put a 1 here. Then 4 will be our other test point. So now we want to plug our test points into the derivative. And let's see if I can actually... Oh man, I can't get the whole thing on the screen. Let's just do this. I'm going to rewrite the derivative here. We have f of x is equal to x... Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're doing the derivative. Sorry. f prime of x is equal to negative 18 x over x squared minus 9 quantity squared. All right. And let me scroll back up. So if we were to plug negative, or sorry, if we were to plug negative 4 into the derivative, now remember all we're concerned about is if it's negative or positive. This way I can put my little sign right here. Plug a negative in the numerator. Okay, first off, a negative in the denominator is squared. So this can always be positive down here. All right. So we plug negative 4 into the numerator up here, and negative number times negative 4 is a positive number. So we know that that's a positive, so I'm going to label that with a plus, and I'm going to say that it's increasing from negative infinity up to negative 3. Now we take a negative 1, plug it in, we get negative 18 times negative 1, so that's a positive. All right. And we take 1, plug it in, and negative 18 times 1 is, a, is going to be a negative number. So we know that that's negative. So that's going to be decreasing. Plug 4 in, and that's going to end up being a negative number times 4 is a negative. So that's going to be negative, and therefore that's going to be decreasing. So if you go back and look at the graph, you're, you'll see it. Okay, now what we want to do, since this is going to be our only uh, relative max here, is 0, we want to take 0, plug it into the original, and that's going to be our relative max. So we're going to have to say our relative maximum is going to occur at 0, comma, f of 0. And of course, remember that f of 0 is going to be equal to 0. Okay, plug 0 in to the original. I think that's up here somewhere. Let's scroll up and look at it. Somewhere. Somewhere way up here. Okay, right. Plug 0 in, you get 0 squared of 0. So you get 0 on the numerator, right? And negative 9, so that ends up being 0. All right, moving back down again. Mm -hmm. Alright, so 0, 0. Now we can say that this function is increasing okay, it's increasing from negative infinity up to negative 3. It's so negative infinity to negative 3. It's increasing and then let's see here. Oh, and see, we have a vertical asymptote right here, so this is extremely important, right? So you can't say it's increasing from negative infinity up to zero because nothing's going on here at negative three. So we're going to go ahead and union that with it's increasing from negative three to zero. May have not talked about that in the last time. And it's decreasing from 0 to 3 and then we're going to union that with it's decreasing from 3 to infinity of course right decreasing and then decreasing again well that concludes uh, this on um, relative extrema I may actually work uh, another part to this but um, that's going to be it for